this is. Uh, Tafik is founder and CEO of Spiral Blue, a space startup building an early warning system for maritime piracy using satellite images. Thank you very much, Tafik. CEO of Spiral Blue, also a PhD student here at UNSW. And what we're working on at Spiral Blue is sort of a, a next step in remote sensing. Uh, you hear a lot of companies talk about you know, taking an, a first mover advantage, moving to a market first so that they can capture as much of the market as possible before their competitors arrive. With Spiral Blue, we're a bit late to the remote sensing market, so instead we're going for the last mover advantage. We're looking to create something that's so compelling that it, doesn't, it won't make sense for anyone else to come to the market after this. And I'll sort of explain, right, right? It's a, it's, a, it's a decent idea. I'll go into how this could happen, right? Uh, and so our vision is, you know, is a nice picture of the Earth, you know, that's what you want to see. My personal vision is that, you know, I want to build cities on Mars, fuel depots on the moon, orbital habitats, all that good stuff. And I say this because I was asked to say it. But in the meantime, you know, it's not happening just yet. It's a bit of a long way off. In the meantime, let's solve problems here on Earth, right? And so there are a lot of problems here on Earth today. A lot of these problems can be reduced with data. The IoT sphere, data science sphere, machine learning, all these are looking to solve all sorts of awesome problems using data. And what we'd like to do is solve a few of these problems. And of course, the fastest way to generate a massive amount of data on the Earth is from space. Funny that. And so what we plan to do is produce the most amount of data possible by producing a live stream <coughs> of the Earth's surface at reasonably high resolution, such that you know you can sort of log into Google Maps and you can sort of see it updating live. Uh, Andrew's walking out, he's extremely disappointed. Storming <laughs> <laughs> uh, And we are planning to use this to solve a range of problems. So in addition to the data, we're also developing the analytics to go with this. And the first problem we're solving is that of maritime piracy. So maritime piracy is not a quaint uh, 18th century problem. You know, it's, it's not, uh, well, we have Jack Sparrow nowadays, but it's, it's, not a, it's not a fun problem, unfortunately. Um, it is still disrupting maritime trade internationally. And if you think about it, piracy is directly at odds with basically the way the world economy is run. With piracy, you're not going to get your cheap goods from China. You're not going to get your iPhones from the US. And the way it works is that what pirates will do is that they will attack ships, try to take ships, try to take them uh, hostage, try to take crew hostage, and then um, ransom them back to their host countries and to their shipping company. And this is an extremely lucrative business for them. Uh, so in 2013, this is not the expenditure that was given to pirates, but this was the expenditure on dealing with piracy in 2013. And I can tell you, 2013 was a bit of an off year. In comparison, last year, 2017, over 100 sailors were taken hostage by pirates. And so the way we're doing this currently, uh, how other, others are doing this, is we have this whole suite of solutions. Uh, oh, hold on. We have this whole suite of solutions that generally fall into these sort of these sort of spheres. You have proactive versus reactive, and expensive versus cheap. Obviously, oh, I've gone back. I've uh, spoiled you all. Uh, right now, what's mainly happening on the commercial side is you have this sort of reactive way of dealing with piracy, whereby companies will try to reduce the impacts of piracy as it happens. So you have things like uh, armed guards <coughs> trying to sort of deter piracy as it happens. And on the defense side, you have these um, proactive solutions, which are great, but as you can imagine, pretty expensive. And the best solution of all, attacking poverty, well, that's, that's not an easy one. So what we plan to do is coming into this uh, nice little space up here, where everyone wants to be, and provide a satellite-based solution. And this solution is essentially a early warning system for maritime piracy based on satellite images. We're starting with plant lab images. We've gotten a very, we've very kindly been given a free trial, and we're building our solution based off that. And the idea is that we're building capability to automatically detect ships and then classify them as per you know if they if they might be pirates or not. 
And what this might look like on the customer side is, uh, this is a screen cap I've taken from marinetraffic.com. This is a site you can go to and see where a lot of the big ships today can be found. Of course, to get more data on the ships, you have to pay, but uh, that's just how it is, unfortunately. <coughs> and we might combine our solution with theirs, or build our own, but it'll look something like this. You know, we'll put the positions of pirate ships on the map the first time, and you know, if you're interested in, say your ship is uh, this one over here, heading, heading east, uh, heading west, and you're maybe worried about this uh, pirate ship over here. So you might click on it and you'll get all the information that we have on it. We've got a nice image showing about what size it is, what it's doing. We'll give you all the information on weather, sea state, as well as pr um, any information that you might have on previous activity in the region. This is to allow you to take the best possible course of action to keep your sailors safe, to keep your cargo safe, to keep your customers happy. And then beyond this, we're building up this capability uh, to detect ships and adapting it to other markets, <coughs> such as defense, illegal fishing, human trafficking, which is of course a big problem here in Australia with the, uh, the boat people. And we also then plan to start building our own satellite capabilities. Uh, we'll be selling this to investors as, you know, we're trying to reduce our costs, so we're trying to give plant labs less of our money, right? We need to have our own Australian satellites, of course. And this would start as a CubeSat, but eventually work its way into a microsatellite platform. Uh, so in the 50 to 150 kilogram range, as we need a fairly decent size aperture. And then beyond that, um, we will take our own images, build further analytics, and build a constellation of 15 microsatellites. This will allow us uh, an equatorial constellation uh, at about uh, 10 to 15 degrees uh, inclination. This would allow us an hourly revisit time. So this would be, this would stop piracy in the, in the bud almost. And finally, building up from there, we would then begin launching the entire constellation. This would be obviously thousands of satellites, but I believe this is a, a decent roadmap to start getting there. And this is the market we're looking at. So for the final stage with the live stream, we're looking at a pretty decent market with the possibility of, with the possibility of capturing a majority of the projected remote sensing market, so which has been projected at 29 billion by 2022. Uh, stages two and three, that's estimated about 2.3 billion based on capturing the entirety of the anti-piracy market. Obviously, we're not gonna accept all the expenditure on anti-piracy means because then we're not saving anyone any money. So, and then stage one is targeting only the uh, piracy happening off the coast of Somalia uh, in the Gulf of Aden, in that sort of region, and targeting oil tankers and bulk carriers. And even that is quite a, a decent opportunity there. So this is the team we have at the moment, obviously of myself. I've been assisted by a talented young web developer named Johnny. And we're also being advised by a, a decent team of advisors, including Helen, who is advising us on maritime matters, Sebastian, who is advising us on space matters and also startup matters, and also Jackie Coe, who is advising us on machine learning and helping us build our first uh, MVP. And we're also seeking further team members and, of course, uh, investors and further advisors. And our progress so far, how am I doing for time? Oh, we're, we're great. Two oh. minutes away. So prior so far, we completed the Moonshot Gemini Ideator program earlier this year, uh, culminating in winning the end of program pitch competition, which I'm very happy about. I've told no one else that, so. Uh, and we're currently in the customer <coughs> discovery phase. We've spent a fair bit of time talking to uh, shipping companies and people in the maritime domain, and we now have a pretty good understanding of piracy and its impacts, and as well as the dynamics of this market. We think of space as complicated, but uh, the maritime supply chain is something else entirely. <laughs> Trust me on that. And the idea is now that we want to build this initial MVP, put it in their hands, and understand you know, how best to serve our customers. Uh, so we've spoken with these guys, including Planet. And as mentioned, Planet has very kindly given us a free trial of some of their images. And we're looking to enter Planet's application developer program to complete our MVP. Now to enter this program, here's the, here's the catch going to need a, a fair bit of investment, about $50,000. So we're looking to raise this much, uh, sort of as a pre-seed round, uh, combining my own savings as well as any third-party investment or grants that we can receive. And we're also looking for advice on these aspects of the business. And that will be all. Uh, happy to take any questions. Thanks for listening.
got time for just one question. What sort of image resolution do you think you're going to need to, to be able to uh, effectively identify small vessels? Obviously, the, the, smaller, uh, the smaller resolution better. Uh, Plant Labs is giving us three meters, which is, they're not really giving us three meters. Our own Microsoft Labs, we're looking for about one meter. Thank you very much, Southgate.